Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. During our Ag PhD radio show just the other day, Darren and I took a question from a farmer who said, hey, what's the right planting depth for corn? And you know what? It doesn't make a whole lot of difference whether you're in Florida like this caller was, or if you're in South Dakota like we are, or New York or California, if the conditions are wet or dry, hot or cold, there is a certain planting depth we want you to have for corn. So we thought we'd talk about that during our Farm Basics time today. Well, everybody's always trying to outsmart nature. And yeah, yeah you're right. When conditions vary, people say, well, this this year we need to plant a little deeper or this year we need yep. to plant a little more shallow and you know what there is a little window there where you could move around just a little bit for example in corn the planting depth window is an inch and a half to two and a half inches deep now you may say well i want to plant a little deeper this year instead of two i'm going to go two and a quarter or instead of two i'm going to go an inch and three quarters and be a little more shallow that's fine because you're still in the safe window but there is a safe window you can't vary from. The biggest thing is you don't want to be more shallow than an inch and a half. Corn always needs to be planted at least an inch and a half deep. And the reason why is because the seed stays exactly where you put it on all grass crops, corn being a grass crop. So that seed is going to stay exactly in that spot. And the problem is when you plant that seed too shallow, let's say it's at an inch planting depth, you may have nodal roots, the main root system of the plant, above ground. Well, you certainly don't want to see roots above ground. That puts your plant in grave peril and weather problems can severely limit your corn yields. The reason why corn has to be an inch and a half deep is because above that seed, first of all, there's going to be a mesocotyl that has to be at least three quarters of an inch long. Then above that mesocotyl, that's where the nodal roots start forming and there are going to be five rings of nodal roots and that's the main root system of your plant for gathering nutrients and gathering water. Water. Well, those five rings of nodal roots need at least three quarters of an inch so they don't have to pop above ground. So you get three quarters of an inch for the mesocotyl, three quarters of an inch for those nodal roots. That's an inch and a half. That is the most shallow you can possibly plant corn without running into trouble. Now, if let's say you plant the corn a little deeper, let's say you plant it at two and a half inches deep, that's fine if you want to do that. It's just you're going to find a longer mesocotyl. The nodal roots are still going to be within three quarters of an inch of the soil surface. So that's not really going to change. It's just that mesocotyl length that will change. Now on the deep side, we don't suggest planting corn any deeper than two and a half inches. And the reason why, you certainly could plant corn at three or four inches deep and if soil conditions were absolutely perfect you may turn out okay but chances are when you're planting that deep you are just so subject to having some kind of surface crusting issue or a compaction issue or whatever that when the corn seed is trying to push that sprout out of the ground it's just not going to make it it's not going to have enough energy the seed has enough energy just to get the plant barely started once that corn is out of the ground you're going to have the radical and seminal roots starting to feed that corn plant. The seed just doesn't have that much power. So we need to not plant deeper than two and a half. Otherwise, you may see some issues with emergence and you may have to replant. So once again, what we're looking for here is one and a half to two and a half inch planting depth. On our farm, we're typically shooting for two inch planting depth. And most of the yield studies that I've looked at over the years would show you that two maybe two and a quarter, two and a half, somewhere in that inch depth range, that's where your ideal yield or your maximum yield will be. But like we say, if you want to, you can go a minimum planting depth of one and a half inches deep. Well, unfortunately, our root system of the Weed of the Week goes much deeper than an inch and a half or two and a half. It can severely hurt your yields. Can you identify this week's weed? 